So in today's video, we're going to be building a small project using the chess.com public API. I actually made a video on the chess.com API using JavaScript. You can check it out. And a year ago, I also made one based on Python. So you can check that out as well. But we're going to make a small little project with it because I ran out of video ideas and I realized that the, the JavaScript chess.com API video is popping off. It just hit 500 views, so that's crazy. But yeah, it's been popping off and I realized that you guys like this. So I'm gonna be doing this. I might make another API related video because I like messing around with APIs, but anyways well, let's get into it so all right so features is that we want to allow the user to search for chess.com username show the following stats which is the avatar name username follows country league ratings and win loss draw record and then we also want to show the daily puzzle so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today and yeah it's just a small little project because just like test out the api so i'd say let's get into it right, where do we start so like i said i want to allow the user to search for a chess.com username should i use a form uh no i'm not going to what i could do is put this into a div though just for styling reasons in case you use flexbox and whatnot don't know how i'm going to design this though i'm not good with design and then also need a place to store the data oh wait actually there's a div right there display data correct so now I'm gonna just fetch, let me see profile. I'm gonna go here and copy this. I'm gonna paste this in here. And then username, uh, I'm just gonna put my username for now. If we inspect, click search, console, wait, search. Oh, it doesn't work. All right, great. <sighs> Why does it not work? Oh, cause it's empty. That's right. User input that value. Bam. There we go. Gives us all of this ID, avatar, country, whatever, whatever. And then what I'm going to do is that add event listener right here. Make sure I have E. If E dot key is equal to enter, then just call. So enter. Nice. Put it right there. Alright. So now what I want to do is want to allow the user to search for that and then show the following stats to the avatar. Yeah, let's do display data dot inner HTML and then inside there let's do I'm gonna do image so I'm going to do data dot avatar. Great, so that's good and then in here I'm gonna put name and then data dot name i think yeah and then we can put in nice after that we have our turning username we can then put in our it's going to be a paragraph tag i'm going to say data dot followers like that the country oh, that's a different story now if we do data the country it's going to give us the link yeah, so I have to fetch that. That's a different story. League. So there you go. League. And then ratings and win loss record. This is not here. It's in, a, it's in um, it's the stats one. Oh, I'll put URL actually. Input chess.com URL. Yeah, but well, it's my uncle talk. Great. And then we can also do tar get equal underscore blank. And then rating. So that will be the stats one. So let me do console.log rest stats. Await fetch. This one is going to be basically the same as this, but you do slash stats I believe and then cons rest stats dot json console data stats nice ah there you go it works 
just like that. We have Blitz right here and Rapid. I mostly play Rapid, so, and we're just gonna use current rating. So we'll have to organize it. Let's do data stats dot chess underscore rapid. That last, I think it is. Oh, that last dot rating. And then copy this. I want the win loss record, so dot record dot win dot record dot win slash. All right, let's try that. Nice. It's just the rating. I think it would be best if we put it under like different. And then I think um there's also um bullet, but I don't do bullet, so we we'll have to like figure that out. We'll just stop blitz. Great. So now we have blitz. All right, no country now. All we can do for this is go to where you say country data. So you can simply just do data dot country. It does. And then we want dot name. So we want data country dot name. So. There you go, Jamaica, great. All right, good. Now I want to display the daily puzzle. I think I'll put it above the data. So you can do ID equal to display daily puzzle. Copy this, display Daily puzzle, and then you can do display daily puzzle. Not in HTML. In here, we can do cons fetch. So go into here now, and that's it right there. So copy, and then you can do cons data daily puzzle nice so that's the daily puzzle right there and this one wants the image the pga oh gives us the url and the h2 and then we want to do the title and then we want to have an image right here so right in here we can do dot image so same thing dot image and then we can all that by saying can I look at the paragraph tag say click on image to daily puzzle to do with the daily puzzle so it just needs to be an anchor tag href and then inside there we can do and then well there's the thing url that's all i want that url so if we click there we go it gives us to that it should be target underscore blank and i think this should be on mode though now i'm thinking about it this should be like as soon as you load in this should be way above here though now that I'm thinking about it, like you load in, there's a daily puzzle or no, maybe it can create like a link where it's like daily puzzle. I don't know, I figured that out. This should be displayed like as soon as you load the page, it just displays. So we can probably put this into a different function then. So inside that function, we can make it be display, display puzzle. And then inside there, let's put everything that we we'll have right here into it and then just async it and then what we can do now is we can do display no we can do um window dot on load equals to display puzzle see that works hey it works right as well and then new tab here it is right there. 
That's great. I want this to be in italic so we can do I click on image. There we go. Alright, what do we have so far? So I have to search. Search. What's the info right there? Not ideal. We've been recording for 25 minutes. Alright, so in 25 minutes we got a lot of stuff done. So the main stuff, which is the avatar, name, username, followers, country league. That's done, show the post art. So we basically have all the info displayed. Now it's all about reorganizing stuff. So I think I'm just going to end this video. So we we'll have the data displayed. Now what I'm going to do is that we're just going to reorganize everything basically. So this is part one, on to part two now.